Good morning. So we just landed in Curacao. Yay! It is another overcast day. I think they had some storms moving through. Um, but it should clear up and we've got a lot of stuff planned. So hopefully we'll get some really good shots for you. Yeah, and definitely right here, just looking here off the port, it is so much stuff to do. So you're going to find out what, what's around here uh, just from looking around. And the weather feels great right as of now. I mean, as you can see in the background, it looks like it's, it might start waiting again. We're we going to find out uh, rain or shine. We're going out there. We start our adventure by stepping off the ship and into the heart of Curacao. Fun fact, did you know that Curacao is actually a part of the Netherlands and is known for its colorful colonial architecture and stunning beaches? Did you also know that the capital city, Willemstad, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Now let's hop on our tour bus and see what Curacao has to offer. Our first stop is the Curacao Liqueur Distillery, which is home to the famous Blue Curacao. This distillery has been producing this iconic liqueur since 1896. It's made from the dried peels of the Laraja citrus fruit, which is unique to this island. The process is fascinating, involving distillation and a lot of history. And don't forget, we'll get to taste all the different flavors they have. Let's head inside. Now the fun part, tasting. They have so many flavors and some of them are pretty unique. We could not resist trying them all. So we made it to the first out distillery. Yep. And what flavors are we trying today, dear? I honestly don't know. I see a green one, a tan one, and a brownie. So we've got chocolate, tamarind, and orange that we're gonna try. Oh, thank you for that trivia knowledge that I wasn't paying attention to. <laughs> I was too busy looking around at other stuff. Right, that's good. That's very really good. That tastes just like chocolate. Who's listening? And mash One's tamarind and one's white. Not too bad. Not too bad. And it might be tamarind. And this is the orange? Yep. All right. That's right, though. Then you say. That's definitely orange. Because the rock is done. That one's shown. That's the original. <laughs> I need to start paying attention more. Five. OMG, that was so much fun. If you ever visit Curacao, this distillery is a must see. Now, back on the bus so we can continue exploring. Next, we headed to the Caribbean Handcraft Shop. This place offers some of the best scenic views of the island and the marina. It's also a great spot for some souvenir shopping. Wow, the views from here are just breathtaking. On our way back to the ship, our tour guide decided to share a very interesting fact. Did you know that iguana soup is considered an aphrodisiac in Curacao and is said to cure various ailments? Specifically, it has similar function as a little blue pill in America known as Viagra. Now that's something unique. Okay, so we are out walking in the city center and if you can't tell by our faces, we are really bummed because they just canceled our excursion. We were supposed to take a tour of the Hato Caves. Yeah, they said it was an accident, so they couldn't actually get here on time. Yeah. So they just canceled it. Yeah, we were waiting for like 30 minutes and they said it was still going to be another 45 or so before they got there. So it was canceled. Womp, womp, womp. But it's cool. So we're about to walk through the city, see what we see, get something to eat because I'm hungry. I didn't eat lunch. Mm -hmm. I know I had a snack. I had to take a nap. Um, that first tour, that bus tour, I don't know what it was. It's because we were on a bus. It felt good though. It was nice and cool. <laughs> but I, I, I checked out. I had to go see. Yeah. So it's fine because we're flexible. We walked across the iconic Queen Emma Bridge, which is a moving bridge connecting the Punda and the Ochrobanda district. The bridge offered stunning views of Willemstad's colorful buildings. We also explored the local craft and farmer's market, checking out various stalls and shops. Music 
after all that walking, we were pretty hungry and it was time to find some food. We found a cozy cafe named De Buren and grabbed some lunch. After lunch, the Ida started to set in and we were quite tired from all of the exploring. We decided to head back to the cruise ship to relax and unwind. Yo, yo, so we're about to head back to the boat. It's actually pretty fun, all things considering with our last excursion, you know, not coming through. But it was cool. We made some time. We went to the report section and they have a lot of stuff over there, a lot of little shopping tours stores my bad shopping center stores and it's a bunch of stuff to do we actually ate at this place called what's it called Dell Dell something I'll, I'll, I'll put it up in the thing so we, we ate there food was really good um, a little finicky on the, the service left a lot to be desired they told us they were understaffed but I was gonna say that TBD but thank you for taking my stuff but yeah we're we actually had a good time so all in all, it was a good day. Good day. Nice overcast. And it wasn't mild. Uh, it wasn't hot. Pretty good. It wasn't humid. So, really good day. Really good day. I concur. As always, guys, if you like our content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to be the first to be notified when we submit new content, hit the bell as well. Otherwise, we'll see you in our next video.